if we talk about taking the limit of a floor function as x approaches an integer, let's say 2, it's not very intuitive. Now what is a floor function? Well, it kind of looks like a set of stairs. From x equals 0 to 1, the output of floor of x is equal to 0. From 1 to 2, it's 1. 2 to 3, it's 2, etc. So you would think the limit as x approaches 2 of a floor function is simply equal to 2. But it's not. And why is that not 2? Well, if I go to Theorem 2.2, and this is from the OpenStax Calc 1, or Calculus Volume 1 book, one-sided limits and two-sided limits, we have to look at those. A limit only exists if the one-sided limit of the function from the left, or a to the minus 1 it looks like, equals the limit as we approach a from the right-hand side, or a, it looks like, to the plus power, but they're not really powers, but that's what these look like. It's only a limit that exists if those two numbers are the same, if those two limits are the same. So if I look at floor of 1.9, that's equal to 2, but if I'm coming from the right-hand side, if I look at floor of 2.1, well, that is equal to 3. Since the limit from the left and the limit from the right are not the same, that means the limit of a floor function as x approaches 2 is undefined.